All right. Today we're going to show you guys how simple, painless, and downright easy it is to install NX Witness on your Mac, on your Windows machine, or your Ubuntu Linux machine. You know, it's a cross-platform system, so it can be installed on any of those. Today we're going to show you uh, Windows 64-bit Windows 7. So let's get started. Uh, make sure you have your download file. I got mine in this nice convenient location on my desktop. A 64-bit software here. Um, now when you usually download the Windows version, you can download a full install package, a server-only install package, or a client-only install package. Since I'm running a beta version of our version 2.3, I'm going to be installing them separately, but most of the time you guys will be installing them together. So going to first install our server. Let's go ahead and click on the server only install package. Confirm with Windows that you do in fact want to install it. Um, and then uh, start working with your installation wizard. So just follow the steps in the installation wizard. Click next. Make sure you agree to our end user licensing agreement. There is nothing nefarious in it. We promise. Um, but you got to accept it in order to use the software. Click next. Uh, for system name, you want to go ahead and name your system. I'm going to call this one my NX demo system. Uh, login, choose for your admin user a very strong password so that no one can hack your system. I am not going to do that because this is a demo. <laughs> um, allow system to optimize camera settings. Go ahead and leave that checked for now. There's an advanced reason that you might want to uncheck that later. But for now, for most people, just go ahead and uh, leave that checked. Go to next uh, and then begin installation. Now, Windows is going to ask you to verify again. Once again, you're going to get a little horn sound right there. And go ahead and click yes. And the network optics gnomes will invade your computer and begin to um, install NX Witness server. So as those little guys get to work, um, it should take about 20 or 30 seconds. And then it will automatically start. All right, we're done. Click finish. Go down to your lower right hand side of your screen. You can see a little uh, icon there, NX. That's our uh, media server uh, tool toolbar icon. Um, you can see the media server has been installed and it's already started, which is great. So now you go back to your install packages and this time choose the client. Go ahead and say yes, run. And then begin the, begin the installation wizard once again. Agree to the end user licensing agreement. Same one as before. Nothing nefarious. Uh, you can place a short top, shortcut on your desktop. Not short top on your desk. Cut. Uh, shortcut on your desktop. And then go ahead and press next. Sure, I like shortcuts. Begin the installation. Again, you're going to get Windows verification. And there's going to be a horn that sounds right there. And go ahead and click yes on that, and the gnomes will once again begin their work. Again, it should take 20 or 30 seconds max. All right, so it's finished. Now you can either launch the uh, NX Witness when the setup uh, finishes, or you can save it for later. I'm going to save it for later. Go ahead and click finish. You can see I got my icon over here. So it's a Windows 7. I'll drag it to my taskbar. And to launch, you just go ahead and click on that icon. And NX Witness will launch. Like I said, this is a beta version, so I get a little beta version warning. Um, and I get to log in with my password, my very strong password I set. And I can test to make sure everything's working properly. Great. Go ahead and log in. Ignore any updates or anything like that off the bat. Um, so, as you can see, I've got one server set up now in my system. And I've got all these cameras that have been auto-detected on my network and they are ready to go. So let's just drag a couple of these guys in here. There's one. There's another one. Uh, there you go. So, so my cameras are live. They're streaming. I can view, zoom into them and start to, to mess around with them, make sure everything is online and looks good. Um, but there you go. That's how you install NX Witness. Very simple, very painless. Next up, we're going to show you guys a little bit of uh, camera recording and configuration.